Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania features more practical effects than many Marvel films in recent years, a choice that Peyton Reed took deliberately. However, the director told Express. UK at the film's UK gala screening that it did come at a cost as they accidentally covered their lead, Paul Rudd, in manure. Peyton has been the director behind all three beloved Ant-Man films since 2015, and branched out of his comfort zones for the 2023 installment. The somewhat outlandish concept of the film sees lead stars Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Douglas and Michelle Pfeiffer transported into the quantum realm, a world Peyton himself describes as bizarre and psychedelic. To stop from venturing too far into the extreme, and give his actors a helping hand, the director deliberately opted to use more practical effects than CGI during production. While great in theory, during a big week of filming with a very large crew and cast, Peyton discovered some dramatic mistakes had been made and the production was even forced to shut down as a result. He told Express.co.uk, there's a set in our Freedom Fighters village and the ground plane is just dirt. But there was some mix-up, I still haven't figured out what happened, instead of delivering just pure dirt there was dirt with a bit of a healthy amount of manure mixed in. We showed up on a Monday to shoot this very involved scene and I walked onto the stage to talk about the scene and was just hit with this wave, this smell. The director added, cautious not to use any foul language to describe the situation, I went to the producers and said this smells like, and it was. This was already somewhat disastrous for the big budget blockbuster, but then Peyton received some more news. He shared, we were told a wheel, fix it, might take two or three days. Two or three days? We have to make a movie. That was probably a low point of the shoot but it happened. Paul Rudd also recently spoke out about the funky smell on set, appearing on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Don't miss! The actor highlighted that the mistake had happened on a production stage called The Volume, a sound stage which is almost entirely covered in LED screens to show what the floors, walls and ceilings or sky would look like. He shared his experience saying, We went in, and there was dirt all over the floor and we were shooting with like 150 other creatures and people, and it doesn't smell good at all. And then throughout the day, it was kind of getting worse. The next day it was overbearing. And we realized they probably got a deal on the dirt because it actually wasn't dirt. Regardless of the debacle, the director stands by his choice of practical effects telling Express. Co.uk the quantum realm had to feel as real as possible and it's a very bizarre psychedelic world but you can't have it float off into abstraction. It had to have some real tactile elements to it. We built some really really amazing sets. Our production designer Will Tay went crazy with his group of artists. The 58-year-old also praised the teams working on the large cast, as he added, We had an amazing prosthetics team that created a lot of these aliens with real practical things and we would enhance some with CG. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is now in cinemas.